everyone welcome back to my channel today's video I am doing another dupe versus dupe video um, I did this before actually quite a while back I think it was like maybe January February time um, and I basically put two different dupes of a high-end palette against each other to see which was the best dupe and I'm gonna be doing it again so it actually turns out that I'm testing the same brands again so before I did W7 and um, Makeup Revolution and it turns out that they are just both very good at doing dupes so I'm testing those two again I'm gonna be doing um, dupes for the Naked Heat palette so the W7 version is the um, Blazing Neutrals palette um, this looks most like the uh, Naked Heat palette in terms of packaging the shape of the shadows and everything you do get a little brush with it however I don't like the look of this brush as much as I did in the um, dupes of the Anastasia Beverly Hills because it's got one of those horrible little foam tip ends however the other end is like a nice flat brush so that'll probably be good quite good for shimmer shades and getting right hmm. let's close that window right in the crease um, because it's such a small brush. That's better. In this palette there are 12 shades and then in the Makeup Revolution palette there are 15 shades. Before this had an extra one um, shade, this time it's got an extra three and I think it's the orangey shade, this gold shade and maybe one of these browns along the top. I'll discover as I go. But yes, they're quite similar. They've got a lot of similar colors. So I'm just gonna give them a go and let you know who I think did it best. Starting with the packaging, I actually don't hugely love either to be honest. I don't mind this but because it's tinny and I just feel like in comparison to their dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, this looks a little bit cheap. You get a brush but I only like one end of it and this also doesn't have a mirror in the top like you get with the others. Um, this was 11... 95 I want to say no that's wrong 995 however W7 always have um, like discounts or there's someone on Instagram with a discount code Maria Fowler quite often has um, discount codes for W7 because I think she's a brand ambassador and so does Olivia Buckland so um, check those because I think I ended up getting this for about £7.50 in the end. This one is £4 so this is the way cheaper option. This was at, without any discount or anything. This is just its standard price and you obviously get three more shades. However you don't get a brush um, with it at all and like the other one you don't get a mirror either. The name of this palette is the Reloaded palette. So let's get into it literally yeah i think it's these three on the end that are extras because there's not like a really orangey shade in that palette this is kind of more of a cool tone neutral these three are more similar to those in the palette and we certainly don't have this gold um in that palette so yeah i'd say from that onwards are the correct or similar shades sorry i just held it up you couldn't see to start i'm just going to go into the lightest um brownie shade oh i've forgotten a mirror again i do this every time so i'm gonna yeah dip into this lightest sort of nude crease shade you get quite a lot of fallout in the pan um that doesn't tend to bother me to be completely honest and actually i'm gonna zoom you further in hey so i've dipped into that color i'm just gonna tap off the excess and i'm gonna just buff that into my crease And this is literally like a shade or two deeper than my skin tone so it's going to be a very light um, difference like it's not going to be insanely pigmented and make a huge difference straight away now taking a different brush and going into the similar tone in the W7 palette Obviously the shadows you get in the Revolution palette are much larger as well, so it's gonna last you way longer. They seem to blend into the skin nicely. It's quite hard to tell yet, because like I said, it's such a, a light color. You don't see a huge difference. Equally pigmented so far. I'm now going to go into the darkest shade of the 
uh, three sort of browns and I'm just going to deepen up that transition shade. Yeah, this one's quite pigmented, this Makeup Revolution one. Just dipping in again and again, buffing. Oh wow, yeah, that is pigmented. And I'm going to just drag my shadow out a bit. Now going back in with my brush that I'm using in the W7 and again dipping into the darker nude. I'm going to do the same on this eye. Okay, I would say they're probably both equally pigmented um, and they're a very, very similar colour, if not the same. Um, however, I would say that the W7 one does blend out a little bit more nicely. It's a little bit better. I'm now going to go back into the Revolution one. Same shade, I'm just going to build that up on the outer corner. And then same with the W7 one. Actually, with this shade, I would say that the Revolution one is slightly more pigmented, but the W7 one is a bit nicer to blend out. And the W7 is slightly more warm toned, I can see. Now I've built it up a bit. Now I'm going to go into this sort of rusty orange colour and I'm going to take it on a different brush. Tap off the excess, that's the Revolution palette. And I'm going to again tap that on the outer V and just build that up. Oh, this is a really nice colour. And I'm just patting it on and then blending slightly into the crease. I'm actually going to drag this under my eye as well. And then taking the brush that I used in the other transition shades, I'm just going to blend that out. Then with another brush, I'm going into the burnt orange shade in the W7 palette. These don't seem to get any fallout in the pan, the uh, Revolution ones do. Just as a note, if that bothers you, but neither seem to fall out much on the face. Actually, if anything, the W7 gives you more fallout on the face. I'd say this um, W7 rust colour, a little bit more pigmented, which is probably why I'm getting a bit of fallout, but also seems to be a bit more pink. Now I'm going to go in with a shimmer, and I'm really struggling to decide which one. There's that bus again. I was going to use this one, but actually I'm going to use this one, which is kind of like a pinky burnt orange, and then the same one in this palette. So I'm going to dip in to this. Ooh, that's quite a nice texture that picks up nicely. I'm going to test it dry first and then I will probably end up spraying it but I just want to see its power wh without the spray. Oh my god this is the revolution one obviously because I'm doing the revolution eye. This is pigmented. Wow okay that surprised me. I mean I'm getting a hell of a lot of fallout so I am going to spray it because that helps with that as well. Oh wrong way and also I want to see what it's like when it's sprayed oh oh my god this color oh this color it's like a really nice looks more red now I've put it on like a ready copper oh oh my word that's beautiful whilst I'm on this eye I'm gonna dip back into that burnt orange shade that I put on the outer part and I am just gonna blend that into the crease a little bit that colour so bold I feel like I need to deepen the crease. Now I've blended the crease some of that shimmer seems to have fallen off I don't know if you can see that which is a little bit weird because I didn't even touch it there but uh, I'm just gonna pat that on again. Now to give the one in the W7 pan a go I'm gonna use this little brush that came with the palette just to test it out and again I'm gonna pick up the shade and test it out dry Okay, that is nowhere near as um, shimmery or reflective dry compared to the Revolution one. If you like to use them dry, bear that in mind. And 
this little brush is nice actually you get quite a lot of precision 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 yeah and then when you use it where I'd say they're pretty similar in colour and performance only thing I've noticed actually is this is more of like a foiled effect and this is more of a chunky shimmer I think I was really divided on the last one as well I ended up preferring the W7 but they were both really similar and there were like pros and cons of each palette and I feel like this is going to be exactly the same yeah this one's definitely more of a chunky shimmer and this is far more sort of foiled I'm just going to quickly dip into the rust colour and blend in my crease again like I did on the other palette on the other eye I meant not palette well yeah it was palette as well right I'm just going to get a bit closer so you can see so this one is more of like a chunky shimmer this one is more way more foiled very similar in color it's just the finishing effect this eye uh, the shimmer on this eye way better dry than this one however this one is way better wet than this one god how confusing um, I tend to use my shimmers wear and honestly when I just blended um, that rust colour into my crease it didn't take any of the shimmer away whereas this one weirdly it kind of all flicked off and didn't really stick to my eye properly it was a little bit weird right I want to test out the dark shade as well so I'm going to go into the deepest brown in the revolution palette I'm going to take that same brush actually that I used the um, for the rust colour just because I think having a little bit of that excess rust helps blend it out and also this is a really good um, <sighs> makeup brush for the outer corner so I'm just going to sort of gently tap it onto my outer V and I'm going to just build it up until I'm happy. Oh, it's a nice, like, rich chocolatey colour. And I'm going to just slowly blend it out. I'm going to just run a little bit under the eye just to connect it all together. Not all the way, though. Going back into the W71, I'm going to take the brush that I use for the rust colour and I'm going in with the dark on here. I'm going to pat it on. Oh, okay. This one is, I think, a little bit more pigmented. Let's quickly blend that. I feel like I need to build up the dub. Uh, Makeup Revolution one a little bit just to intensify it because the W7i is definitely more intense. Yeah, they're pretty much the exact same colour. I would just say that the W7 shade is a little bit more um, pigmented. I'm just going to quickly blend in the shimmers again. Yeah, it's definitely a bit more pigmented. Right, I'm going, going, going to quickly stick on um, just a thin uh, bit of liner along my lash line to blend my lashes in and then I'm going to pop on these um, House of Lashes in the Style Knockout and I will be back. Okay, whilst my lash glue is drying, because it took me a while to find it and I had a little panic then, I'm going to just do my lips. Now the other day I picked up this coolest thing and it's by I Heart Revolution and it's lip liners. But it's like those pens, those big pens that you used to get at school with the four like different colours how flipping cool is that so I'm going to be using that I'm going to go for like the second lightest nude colour um, and you literally push the thing down and then if you need to you just twist it round and it gives you a little bit more of the product it's so cool I love it I've used it a couple of times It's quite a nice lip liner too. It's like a nice creamy but still quite firm sort of lip liner. And it was only £5 and you get four lip liners in it which is just crazy. 
Now, seeing as we're doing a dupe for Urban Decay Naked Heat, I felt it was only right that I used an Urban Decay product in this at some point. Um, and this is actually like the perfect perfect colour. I want kind of like a warm peachy nude um, to tone in with the eyes. This is the lipstick. It's the Comfort Matte Lipstick in the shade Up Tight. This is such a nice creamy lipstick and it lasts so well and it's comfortable to wear and I love the colour. And then I want it to just be a touch lighter because it's quite a similar colour to the eyes so I just want to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Lip Injection Colour Bomb. This is in the shade Never Enough Nude. Not actually sure if you can get this anymore um, but they do other colours and it's really really nice product. And I'm just going to run that over the top to add some glossiness and just to lighten it up a teeny weeny bit. Okay, now just to brighten my inner corner, I actually want to test out this gold shade in the Revolution palette. So I'm just going to dip my brush into it, give it a little spray and pop it in my inner corners. Oh, that's a nice colour. And this is the completed look. Now for the verdict. Do you know I'm torn? I really am. I'm going to tell you why. When I was applying, I felt quite a few of the W7 shades were more pigmented um, and they definitely blended out more easily i actually prefer the tone of the rust color and the darker that really deep brown shade that i popped in um, my outer v it definitely blended out more nicely and built up a lot better than the crease shade if you see like it's gone a tiny bit blotchy whereas this is a lot smoother um, when i popped this um shimmer shade on my lid it was really good dry and then when i put it wet it was really lovely as well um but like i said when i blended it out it kind of took it away a bit i built it back up and it stayed on fine and i actually thought i preferred this one because um it applied more easily it went of more of a foiled sort of effect rather than shimmer and yeah it just went on a lot better but now it seems to have all settled in i actually prefer the color of this one and the effect so do you know what i love both palettes for both different reasons i think i am going to say the w7 but only just and that's purely because it looks nicer a bit more smoked and um better blended however the shimmer in this is better you get more colors it's cheaper so the difference in price kind of gives you the difference in shadow like they're very similar but the ever so slightly more pricey one is ever so slightly better if you get what i mean um however yeah the shimmer in this and the gold is so nice and this is literally less than half the price if bought at the normal prices and you get three extra colors i will 100 percent be using both palettes again so oh it's a tough one but i have to say a clear winner don't i otherwise it's not going to be a very exciting video i'm going to have to go with the w7 purely for the crease color and the way it's all blended out but literally only just only only just <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i'd love it if you could smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already because i'm uploading three times a week now um so yeah really trying to get some more videos out there two of those are makeup and one a vlog and my upload days are wednesday saturday and sunday so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any if there are any other palettes that you want me to test that are like dupe against dupe let me know in the comments and i will see you in my next one thank you for watching bye